after scrutiny again after the latest USDA report outlined serious issues in animal care, record keeping and handling at the facility. KTSM first brought you this story last month where we looked into the Touch Aquarium after people took to social media to voice their concerns. Our KTSM 9 News reporter Oriana Botado has been covering this story from the very start and brings us the latest update. For starters, wild animals don't belong in a shopping mall. Um, any shopping mall operator should see that request come in and say, okay, this is a red flag. There is no reputable facility exhibiting wild animals in a shopping mall, full stop. Jungle Reef has only been operating for almost eight months. They opened with the concept of a hands-on touch aquarium in the Solana Mall, but that quickly backfired on them following the accidental mistreatment of animals by customers inside the Sea Life touch tanks. Uh, the animal world is very fickle. It's either you're loved or you're hated. Kids are pulling the, the animals out of the water. They were squeezing them too tight. And so unfortunately we had to switch gears. The USDA has conducted several inspections, most recently detailing the wallaby's death, saying the marsupial was killed by a gate crush injury. These people don't know what they're doing. And, and it's clear from the USDA's latest citations um, showing the death of a budgie and of a wallaby that, you know, the, these are preventable incidents that are occurring here. And Jungle Reef just isn't cut out for it. Following this latest USDA report, we reached out to Hepworth for comment, and he sent us a statement saying in part, quote, this unfortunate event deeply affected us, and we take the situation very seriously. He added that they remain compliant with state and federal regulations and have recently received a positive inspection report from the city. After the Wallaby incident, the report states that Jungle Reef installed a guard to prevent future accidents from happening, and Hepworth confirmed that the person responsible for animal care is no longer with them. However, organizations like PETA are urging the public to do their part. By simply not going to facilities like Jungle Reef, which will, in the end, shut it down because this is a for-profit company. They're not in it for, for animal welfare. They're in it to make money. Our thanks to Oriana for that report. Officials say there were four items cited in the inspection report. Two of them were identified as critical. Meanwhile, El Paso Animal Services says they haven't received any complaints about Jungle Reef since May and any previous issues that were identified were corrected accordingly. Well, for more on this story and our previous reports, you can visit our website at KTSM.com.